I could teleport my crew into their med bay and start beating them. No, that's not a good idea. Shields are down a little bit. There we go. Where did they teleport? They teleported into there, huh? Let's move you guys in there to help with the battle. Lock, you get in there too. Let's just mess them up. All right, we want to go into continuous. Oh, they're weapons at this point. Yep, there we go. Thank you, thank you very much. All right, got some scrap. Um, more power bars. Now, I've got the power. To the exit, we're gonna make it. We only have three fuel. I should have bought some fuel. Hey, what's up, Jason? Hello, I'm an FTL modder and I'm going around looking for people to test my mod. Would you be interested? I sure would, man. Uh, go ahead and shoot me a message on Twitch. I'll look at it. You arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. You come across a large trade station. However, as soon as you approach, a warning goes out to all ships in the region. Do not a Associate with the Federation sympathizer. All who oppose the rebels will be punished. Search among the stores to see if someone will sell to you. You apparently spoke to the wrong person in search for a store. Warnings go off and you detect an automated rebel ship. We're going to blast the heck out of their shields. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to power up a defense drone. That we don't take any missile damage. There we go. Oh, it'd be nice if we could get through their shields, though. Come on now. Oh, Vulcan! All right. And let's go ahead and we will shift to their weapon system. And let's shift to their piloting system. There we go. Good night. One fuel and a ton of scrap. All right. Let's look at our ship again. could we do that would help us at this point and improve piloting that's kind of a free energy cost there so we don't have to worry about powering that kind of night let's just go ahead and leave things alone Jump to the next sector. Zoltan controlled or Zoltan controlled? How about Zoltan controlled? I'm gonna jump here and try and hit all these little close guys real quick. Light asteroid field is entering the atmosphere of a nearby planet. A fireworks show on a galactic scale. There's little for it but to take in the ambiance of the next for the next jump. Let's try and hit these two guys and then the store. That might be a little risky, but let's try it. Holy crap. I accept their bribe. And we we'll go right here. <laughs> I feel bad that I accepted that bribe, but that ship, three, la three uh, shield layers is a little bit scary. You know what? Let's try and just get through and get their weapons down because that looks like an ion cannon and a... Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, no, it looks like some kind of an ion cannon. Yikes. Shields got whacked. 
All right, their weapons got damaged. Um, need to go up there. And yeah, we'll just keep rocking this. Come on. Weapons down all the way. Come on. Five fuel, eight missiles, and 30 scrap. I will take it. I can use the fuel. All right. Jump to the store. Woo. I vote after this battle you upgrade weapons again. Maybe, perhaps. Maybe, perhaps, you say. Let's see what we got here. Fire suppression, scrap recovery, DNA bank. Pegasus missile. We've got a ton of missiles, but it costs three power. Son of a gun. So many missiles. I'm seriously considering the Pegasus missile. Two damage normally. Shield piercing. Takes 20 seconds to charge, though. That's too long. Well, we can sell this guy. We're never going to use him. Look at the ship. Uh, we can do one more. Weapons. All right. And then we go to the store. Buy all their fuel. Their drones. And then fix up as much as we can. All right. I can do the best we could there. We'll have all four weapons online again. Um, You come to a Zoltan trade and supply hub. Everything the weary traveler needs, provided that they have the right documentation. We don't have any money, but let's... You rematerialize in the dark corner of the main concourse and are able to conduct your investigation in peace. You head into a ship supply store. It is well equipped. We have nothing. Drone recovery arm would have been nice, but... A repair arm would be nice, too. Yeah, there's really nothing I can do here. I could sell the beam drone. But all that would help us do is get fixed up. Maybe buy more fuel. That stinks. Alright. Let's just continue on our way. This might be a really short sector. Which is going to be bad for us. Because I don't feel like we have the systems we need to beat the final boss. You pick up the last broadcast from a rupturing Zoltan freighter. The Mantis, they're here. Please, you're interrupted by fire off the port bow. Alright. Um, I say we do everything focused on... This guy needs to be in engine. You need to be down here working on this. You need to be in weapons. What a screwed up little thing we have going on here. These guys head on up to the med bay. Fight this guy. Ooh, we almost got hit by a missile there. We're going to get through this system very quickly. All right, you guys go down. Fix up the uh, drones. You guys go fight. There we go. Weapons are going down quickly. Keep firing until... There. That's done. And now let's focus on... Focus on the shields, I guess. Wow. Good night. See you later. <laughs> Woo, 58 scrap. Boom. Oh, yeah. I'm digging that. All right. From here. Oh, we've got to go there or else we're going to be behind enemy lines, and that's the last thing we want right now. 
intruders on board. There are a few more zealous in their customs checks than the Zoltan. A team of border police beam on board. They're just a little confused over your weapons licenses, but they escalate rapidly from heated discussion to gunfire. Put four guys in there. And we're going to... I think that pike beam they've got there can get through our shields, which is going to be a real problem. Go heal. Go heal. Go heal. Everybody back to their stations. Except for you, Block. You go up and heal. Go heal the FTL drive. There we go. Weapons go down. Come on. And now we want to blow them out of the sky. Shields first. There we go. That was nice. Wow, that's a lot of scrap. All right, let's take a peek at our ship here. Clean up first. Let's see. No store. You can go up to distress and there, and then down to the exit. I say we go up to distress and evaluate the situation. The distress is either a trap or we can get some help. You find the source of the distress call. Uh, send your crew in a shuttle to help put out the fire. Dock and try to rescue survivors. Oh, this could be really bad. You lose crew. Send your crew in a shuttle to help put out the fire or dock and try to rescue survivors. I wouldn't mind having a little more crew. We're going to dock and try and hopefully not lose anybody. 26 scrap, 4 damage to our hull. But we didn't lose anybody. So I'll take it. Asafa, go over there and help get healed up. Right? We didn't lose anybody. Need to be here. Need to be up in shields. Everybody back to their station. All right. We lost the Tulanius, guys. That's all we've lost so far. Um, I say we hit one more, and then we'll go to the exit. Uh, let's explore the asteroid field. Pirate ship hiding behind one of the larger asteroids attacks you. That kind of sucks. All right. Um, let's go after... That, and let's try and get a defense drone to take out asteroids. So we're going to auto-fire on their weapons. And hopefully our defense drone is going to keep the asteroids off our back. All right. Oh, come on. We can get through the shields better than this. There we go. Our weapons down yet? Um, let's go ahead. We want control. I almost turned off. I hit the wrong button almost. They're saying, all right, you win. Four missiles, one drone, and 30 scrap. I'm not going to accept their surrender in case we might get some fuel. Two fuel and 55 scrap. Huzzah. Everybody's in place already. Let's go ahead and jump to the exit. We've got almost 200 scrap. That's a nice little kitty we've got there. You arrived at the long-range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. You come across a large trade station. However, as soon as you approach, a warning goes out. Okay, let's search among the stores. What do they have for us? Nothing. 
Anti-drone. Stuns combat drones attacking your ship. That might be useful. I'm gonna buy fuel. Um... And... We might be good on the drone parts. I'm gonna buy the anti-drone. I'm gonna sell the beam drone. I feel like that's a good choice. Um, we're close to getting healed up, so let's go ahead and let's look at the ship. Wait, I've got two more sectors. I think I've got two more sectors before the final. Anyway, let's look at this. Um, we could get... We could almost get the fourth layer of shields. That might not be too shabby. One power, two power. Probably upgrade our drones. Add a power bar. I'm trying to decide if I want an anti combat drone, in my opinion. Oh, okay, cool. Um, all right. Let's accept that. That'll give us the ability to, if we wanted to, have both drone and defense drone going. But for right now, we can have all this going as well. If we wanted to teleport in. So it depends on, we've got a little bit of versatility there. Look at the store again. Um, the more I think about it, probably ought to heal up. At least to there. We don't need to worry about the O2 refill. I don't think the healing boot is going to help us. It's going to be a long shot to get the fourth layer of shield. I'm going to go to the store. I'm going to do a full fix, and we'll hold on to the rest of that cash. I'm going to take a quick break, guys, and then we will be right back. All right, we're back. The crew of the Squingy Bud is doing rather well. And let's see here. I really wish we hadn't lost our Lanius friends. That was a uh, miscalculation on my part. I think it would have improved the game for us just a hair if we still had them. Next sector, Rock Controlled or Zoltan Homeworlds. We just went through Zoltan and it was rough. I'll say Rock Controlled. <laughs> Just to avoid that extra layer of shields. The rock people are a powerful and proud race. It is not unheard of to have a peaceful journey through their lands, but don't count on it. Not. There's a store there. Let's jump up here and maybe even here before we hit the store. This could be our last store before we go into the final sector. You find a slug cruiser and a rock ship at a standoff, both with weapons armed and ready to fight. You could intervene before this gets out of hand. All right, the slug captain explains that they upgraded the rock ship's reactor, and now the thick boulder heads are refusing to pay for the work done. The rock captain says the slime balls did a poor job, that it's not worth the agreed-upon price. Uh, let's demand that the rock crew pay for the agreed-upon price. With much grumbling, the rock captain agrees to pay the price. 
The slugs offer their thanks for your help and jump away. Their true, appreci their true appreciation is questionable, but at least you can get back to your mission. Well, I'm glad I was able to make everybody get along and be all friends and stuff. Surprise me, off-wilder. Thank you. The passenger will be with you momentarily. She refuses to enter the main hold and prefers to wait in the cargo boy. Cargo bay at a quest marker. All right, cool. Um, wow, we can take them right there. Let's go ahead and let's hit the store real quick. Let's see what they got for us down here. A few pages of stuff. Heavy laser. Heavy laser, 13 seconds to charge, fires two shots in quick succession, each dealing two damage. Or, we've already got one shot. These are... These charge faster, and it's three shots. I know they take up more space, but... That don't make no sense, fool. FTL jammer, battery charger, backup DNA bank. Um... You get the clone bay. Get the clone. That may help with my mistakes with the for teleportation in the future. Feedback. Uh, what's on page two? Page two's. Bomb, bomb, and heavy laser. I'm not interested in any of those, because my three lasers already do better. I'm thinking clone bay. I can send my two mantis in. Bought the clone bay. Clone bay and fuel. All right. And let's jump back up here and then we'll jump to the quest and we'll see what we get in return for our hard work on the quest. A vast tunnel network near the surface of Numa 5 indicates an advanced rock civilization. This must be where you are asked to deliver the passenger. Realizing arrival is imminent, the passenger, Silent so far, pleads with you not to hand her over. She's interrupted by the Grand Basilisk's chief aide. To the alien vessel holding the Basilisk's wife, deliver her to us. You will be rewarded well. Hand her over. Uh, we got an automated reloader. May your children erode into the dust, she screams as she bundled into the waiting shuttle. The rock guards on board hurriedly drop off an exotic piece of technology and return to the Grand Basilisk. Let's see what this thing is. Uh, cooldown between weapon shots is improved. Okay. I feel terrible for that lady, but uh, she hadn't said anything right until we were supposed to drop her off. That made things really awkward. I was going to say. That was kind of a poor decision on her part. Let's jump down here, the distress, perhaps up and around. But here to start. Here to start. All right, as you jump in, a vast figure appears on the view screen. The rock captain rubs the green moss-like appendage on his chin and then orders his crew to open fire. What is that green moss-like appendage? Oh, you're gonna go into that kind of a mode, huh? got a flak cannon. Let's fire up a defense drone. It'll help deal with the flak when it comes flying. And I'm gonna go after your weapons, jerk. Oh, the flak took out our defense drone. Okay, let's get through this thing real quick, hopefully. Whoa, that was a gun and a half. O2 down. These guys go fixy fixy. All right, and 
then back to auto firing. All right, Just a little bit of damage to their weapons there. You guys there, you to shields. Oh, snap. Maybe I'll teleport those guys in and go do some damage, I don't know. All right, all their weapons are down. Let's go after their shields, perhaps. Wow, the Vulcan it literally is like every second with that reloader. They're offering me 60 scrap, three missiles, four fuel, and a defense drone Mark I. I'll take it. I'll take that. And let's look into increasing our shields. I know that might have been a waste, but there was a store there. No. Oh. All right. Poor choice. Poor choice. On my part. All right. We are gonna fire up a defense drone and go after their weapons. Defense drone will help keep back. Oh. You don't want to mess with our NG buddy, all right? We've got some guys that like to hack it up. You can jump up out of the engines. We'll make this a four-on-two survival match here. All right, their weapons are down. All right, the shields are going down. There, you're done. You're so toast now. All right, you want to fire weapons at me? Fine. I will not accept your surrender. That offer is terrible. Sixty-three scrap. I'll take it. Or sell defense one drone. All right. Good advice, basket MC. Uh, I don't know. It's gonna be close. Yeah. Let's hit the store. Let's hit the store. Cloaking mind control hacking. That kind of stinks. Second anti-drone. I wonder if that would help during the second stage of the um, the Rebel Fleet flagship battle. Oh, man. Hmm. Well, I definitely don't need two of those. Good. We'll go with that fourth layer of shields. Door. One fuel. And, uh. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be close if we can get back up to the exit in time. But this is why we play Combat Drone Mark 1. Thanks, Sympathizer. Uh, intruders on board. You in there. You up into, I, I guess that's not a med bay, so it's not gonna do anything. Guessing if I have this online, I don't. I don't want to be in this area trying to get healed up though, and like fix people. Let's jump to the next place with dudes who are almost dead in our ship. 
Uh, a rock ship is silhouetted against a sun supernova. They hail. Even out here, you follow us. We only wish to be left alone. Out of panic or anger, they charge their weapons. Uh, we... All right. There... All right. We killed that guy. Um... They have a bomb. That's going to prove to be an issue. Let's get... Let's get that back online. Let's get our shields up to level four. Maybe that'll help with the other weapons. That teleporting bomb could prove to be the death of our crew, though. But I guess then we'll see what it's like to have people cloned. I've never had clone bay in this game before. <laughs> Oh, and they unleash the beast on us. Oh, they killed our guy. Doors are down, so there's nothing we can do about that. Um, get our captain back here to try and put out the fire. Oh, good lord. Get in there and try and help put that fire out. Oh, O2 is down. That sucks. You and... Oh, no. Stay here. You. Yeah, you go down there. If we can get doors back online, we can choke this fire out. Come on. All right. Doors. You get there. You go there. Right. I need you to help put that fire out there. Suffocate this fire. Oh, good lord! We got fires everywhere! I need people fixing the O2. That's what I need. I'm gonna suffocate. Oh, son of a gun. I did not think about this. And my Vulcan just reset. Ooh, man. That stinks on the Vulcan having to reset. I guess I moved that Voltan guy out of weapons, and that kind of jacked us up, though. Why do we have no O2 in there? You two. Um, you two fix teleportation. No, fix. All right. Wow, we're getting our butts in. Just make sure the clone base stays repaired and powered when people are dead. Uh, Vulcan isn't shooting. Oh, son of a gun. All right. I got frazzled there for a second. It was almost the worst thing that ever happened. Ever. Head up there to the front of the ship. Work on repairing that. All right, and let's... Oh, man! They got burned up by the sun. All right. Why don't you guys go in there and suffocate? 
and we'll, yeah, there you go. You guys can get reborn in the clone bay. Let's move you and you, you, you stay there. Get O2 working. Ugh. Yep, old dudes died. All right, that'll hopefully get that all fixed up and you all fixed up. I don't know, the clone bay is a little weird to me when people are real beat up. Hopefully that'll suffocate right out, all right. Get everybody pretty much figured out here. Oh, good lord. All right. We got to survive this battle here. And we want to go after that. Everybody back to their regular stations. Yeah, I teleported into our clone bay. They have missiles. Let's go ahead and fire up the defense drone. Bummer. Fix the O2. Fix the shields. Man, things are going south. I don't know. Maybe I should have stayed with the med bay. I don't know. Oh, did we just lose a dude? We sure did. All right. Awesome. You get down there, you go in there. We are just losing guys left and right. All right, you head back down here. All right, we're slowly taking down their weapons, but we are taking a beating and a half here. All right, you need to go work on shields and shields. You work on shields as well. All right, we've got two, three, and four. All fire on the shields, or on the weapons, I mean. They've got guys in the oxygen-deprived room. Getting choked out. We're gonna jump to the next sector. The last stand. Yay! Achievement unlocked. Federation base range. Blastophobia. You're right about Kestrel Cruiser Type C unlocked. Woo! Yeah, we did it. Jump as soon as possible. Thanks for the advice, Basket. I just read that. Uh, you arrive at an outpost close to the Federation base. Your ex your access codes get you past initial security, and an officer sets up a direct feed to the Federation base's war room. Admiral Tully speaks first, saying, What is the meaning of this? Who are you? I explain our mission. And your explanation is met with murmurs of cynicism and disbelief. Among the officers, General Terzel of the NG or NG Brigade speaks up. Intel suggests potential counter to rebel technology. Risk all or save nothing. Explain the weakness of the enemy fleet, the rebel flagship. We got 10 hull and fuel. Awesome. There are still dudes on our ship. Let's let them suffocate to death like a bunch of dum-dums. All right, oxygen's powered up. Ooh, now correct 
me if I'm wrong, but if I upgrade my clone bay, it will actually heal people a little bit, like in between battles and like that. Is that, is that true? I'm going to send you in to go fix that hull repair real quick, because you're definitely going to die. And then you will be reborn. You guys have been fixing a lot of stuff. We'll send you in next. Be back on where you belong. Be back where you belong. We're actually going to suffocate these guys out. That they'll come back with full health. And we're going to let them come back. 24 fuel. We hardly will need that. Yes, upgraded clone bay brings dudes back faster and heals more between battles. All right. There we go. Speed up the clone bay a little bit. All right, everybody remembers their programming. I'm going to let the oxygen get all the way back up. But if I remember correctly, we're going to get a little bit of money from repair stations. All right, there's the base. Here's a repair station. Let's try and jump down this way. We might run into a few people along the way. A few bad guys, but it couldn't be too bad. Four levels of shields. That kind of stinks. We're gonna teleport in. We're gonna need a defense drone. Let's try and get after your weapon. Bring you in here. Let's have a fight. They also have a Vulcan, is that what I'm seeing? Certainly looks like they do. All right, they're Vulcans offline. Soon all of their weapons are going to be offline. All right, all their weapons are offline. They're trying to surrender. We don't need more fuel. We don't definitely don't need the missiles. Let's try and get some more cash so we can upgrade our systems. 32 is what they offered us. 59 is much better. And we got a drone part. Look at our ship here. Power bar. Um, I'm going to do two power bars. And I am again going to slowly murder my crew so that they will be reborn with full health. I don't know if that's a good tactic or not. What's up, Corn Zen? What's going on? Close the doors. Oh, their abilities go down when they're cloned, though, it looks like. That kind of stinks. Why is that? I guess that's why you don't just kill your crew off every time. Uh, yeah, we're heading towards some repair, because that's what we want. A few scattered heavy vessels are left to fend the Federation settlement. They seem to be in the process of, ev process of evacuation. To the repair! We get all fixed up. 33 scrap. Take that. Um, I'll power that up. We don't have enough for the drones, so let's go ahead and we'll buy another power bar. Jump here. Uh, there are a few Federation fleets in the nearby area, as well as a lot of wreckage. There must be 
been a minor there must have been minor skirmishes in the area um i'm thinking that we will go to the base and we will wait and hopefully this repair will still exist a lot of times they disappear once you're in your battle with the big main dude but coming so let's wait all right this is it all right i really dislike the clone bay i'm not a huge fan of it either core and i'm learning that not much anymore it's getting late here oh where you at man you over uh in uh, europe or in england you know you over in i guess england is in europe i should admit that that is the truth this is it the rebel flagship if you're able to destroy this monstrosity the federation fleet will have a chance of surviving there's no turning back this is only my second time getting here. So let's go ahead. Let's move these guys in here. And they've hacked our engine. Can I get that guy out of the room? Only if he blasts his way out. I'm going to let him blast his way out. Let's go ahead and let's teleport those guys into that room so they can murder this guy. And we want to, I think we want to attack their shields to try and get their shields down. Ah, oh, man, I almost screwed up Royal. Okay, I did a little bit. I need to take this down and put up a defense drone. I can take that weapon out. That'll be glorious. All right. And they're stuck in there, so we might as well bring them back. Let that cool down. <laughs> We're doing pretty well. Our shields are holding up pretty nicely, considering. As soon as that cooldown is fixed, we're going to go take out another weapon. Alright, our shields are all the way back up. They're still hacking. Our FTL drive. That's not a bad place to get hacked if you're going to. All right, we're going to send you after this guy. All right, so that's all blowed up. Fields are down. Those guys are almost dead. Let's switch to their med bay. All right. Oh, no, 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 no. Guys are on the ship still. Son of a gun. No, 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 no. Ah. They're gone. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye. I lost my crew. Oh, they're getting, they're getting, uh, cloned back up. <laughs> so, so glad I've got the clone bay right now. Oh, God. That was almost super duper bad. Oh, man. All right, that could have been terrible. All right, we're actually gonna just put those guys into the clone bay. We're gonna move this guy to sensors. You know what, we don't need this guy on sensors right away. We don't. We can move him there if we need to move around the ship later. Just accept this. If we jump, he's running away. Let's go ahead. We'll jump to the repair. Get some more cash. And let's jump back to the base. Coming back. <clears throat> let's have some fight. Chase down the flagship and discover it is heavily damaged from the previous fight. Scans indicate that it has re redirected considerable power to its drones. We're going to switch these two. 
Um, shoot. We're gonna put everything on on that thing. And let's go ahead. Go after the shields and then jump these guys over to that weapon again. It's likely gonna get at least one fire off. Oh, anti-droning is going well. All right, we're doing okay. Nothing too crazy going on. Our shields are holding up. Oh man, I thought something terrible was gonna happen there for a second. All right, did we lose our anti? -dr no, we lost our defense drone. Right, okay, let's go ahead and we'll jump these guys into this weapon right here. 